So in Abraham teaches us on how to handle area boys. This happened in one of our shoots today. But wait, before we begin, we publish new videos every day. So be sure to subscribe and ring on the bell notification to get notified each time we drop new videos. You can also share our video on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, anywhere. Please kindly share our videos. So in today's video, we'll be taking a look at Kubana Chief Priest visiting David Doe. That is our first agenda of the day. Kubana Chief Priest hangs out with David Doe at his Banana Island home. In a recent video trending on Instagram, he showed off the singer's music achievements. The club owner in his caption stated that David Doe's achievements are giving his competitors a run for their money. Well, don't you think this is show off? Or what? Let us know in the comment section below what you think about this. Okay, before I go further, here is a video clip of Kubana Chief Priest doing everything. And I want you guys to rate this video in the comment section below. Do you think this is childish show? I know it's right for you to show off your achievements. Roll the clip. A Chuck extra oh. double XL. Chuck. Chuck. Come on, eh. You're ready now. Chuck. I'm in Then get money. Well, you've seen the video. Let us know your reactions in the comment section below. What do you think about Kubana Chief Priest as a person? Let us know in the comment section below. The Nigerian club owner and celebrity barman Kubana Chief Priest recently took a swipe at some artist in the industry trying to compete with singer David O. Do you think this is called for? I think it's a call for, but let me hear your own thoughts in the comment section below. Chief Priest, in his latest Instagram post, shared a video with David O chilling at what appears to be the singer's home. While hailing the Jawa Kruna, Chief Priest showed off a collection of David O's musical achievements. He also said that David O's feat is the reason some musicians are trying to catch up by doing a lot of collaborations. In his words, the reason why your favorite is wrong collabo to try catch up. The team say music na wrestling we get tag team. Na go fight tire. No, it's XXL choked up. I think this is a direct shot at you know what? You know, do you know the person? Let me know in the comment section below if you do. Um the person is no other than the person's rather. Burner Boy and Whiskey. What do you guys think about this? Kubana Chief Priest comes from nowhere to drop this kind of caption and you think it's not for anybody? I think you are wrong. So let us know in the comment section below if you think this is um, directly thrown at someone and I have already stated my own opinion. So let us know your own opinion in the comment section below. And also, what do you guys think about Choma's relationship saga that has been trending online? At first, she liked a, video, um, a picture on Instagram where the user said, if the name begins with a J or D, the person is not worth it relationship-wise. And also, she changed um, a caption from the engagement ring and left it blank, removing the I love you, and deleted some other things on Instagram. Um, Let us know what you think about this in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave your comments regarding Kubana's chief priest shots at you-know-who. So let us know in the comment section below. Moving on. Cross-dresser James Brown meets actor Desmond William for the first time. Wow. James Brown and Nollywood actor Desmond Elliott were recently spotted together. The cross-dresser shared photos of his Instagram page and expressed his excitement about meeting Elliott. Fans were spotted in his comment section with different things to say. What would you say if you're there? Let us know in the comment section below. Controversial cross-dresser James Brown has gotten members of the internet community talking with the latest picture he shared on his Instagram page. Apparently, the cross-dresser who describes himself as the Princess of Africa met up with the veteran Hollywood actor turned politician Desmond Elliott. An excited Brown posted the pictures they took together on his page, noting that it was an honor for him to meet the movie star. 
Brown also shared a video that captured the moment he walked up to the actor. From indications, the cross-dresser saw Elliot at the reception of a hotel and could not let the moment pass him by. So my guy said he would take that short so Shortly after sharing the pictures and videos, fans and followers were spotted reacting in his comment section. Some of them faulted Brown for referring to the movie star as an icon. Well, what is your own notion about Desmond Elliott? Let us know in the comment section below. And let us quickly take a look at some of the comments. I am Bino said, two queens. Hey, darlings. <laughs> Um, another comment said, um, who else is thinking what I'm thinking? What are you thinking? Let us know in the comment section below. Another user said, I can we call us children, Sha? You two be children. Hmm, I think it's going back to what happened in the past. Well, another user commented, this James Brown too funny. Be like Desmond. Be one, break your tiny hand for that video. <laughs> well, what do you guys think about the video? Let us know in the comment section below. And what do you think about James Brown as a whole? And Desmond Elliott as a Nollywood veteran or icon actor. I don't know what you guys think about what I just said, but let us know what you think about Desmond Elliott in the comment section below. Moving on, Tony Abraham places area boy who tried to disrupt our movie set where they belong. And I think this is the best way to handle area boys. You know, there are a lot of problems out there, so you just have to evade the ones you can. Well, let us take a look at the video clip before we talk about what happened. Roll the clip. I So Abraham recently shared a video of herself from a movie set. In the video, she is seen trying to keep some towels from causing problems at the location. The actress can be heard assuring them of monetary gifts after she's done shooting. When it comes to shooting movies in Lagos, one thing a lot of filmmakers often complain about is the issue of area boys making trouble, and there's no way you can evade that. Well, it appears to Abraham has no problem dealing with such issues, and a recent video shared to her Instagram account is proof. There is a saying that if this hand washes this hand, the other hand will wash the other hand. I don't know. <laughs> Well, a little to the left, a little to the right. So, the video captured the moment of the actress and filmmaker 
who was seen trying to come to an agreement with some touts who had stormed a movie set. The mother of one can be heard telling the group of young men in the Yoruba language her plans to settle them after she is done shooting. In her words, you wanted to be showing yourself and it's not good. I will give you something but let me finish working. It is what I have that I will give to you. You are talking as if I have one huge amount of money with me. There is no money out there. COVID-19 is outside. Well, what do you think about this? Let us know in the comment section below. And what do you think is the best method to handle area boys? I know a lot of persons have encountered area boys. And I think it's not a funny thing. These guys will razzle you. And um, it's just best you give them something to avoid the problems. I think that's the best thing to do instead of cursing or um, sparking up a fight between them. So let me hear your own thoughts in the comment section below. Moving on, Nigerian rappers Lantani Bile tattoos Ghana ex-president Kwame Nkrumah on his chest. Wow, woo. The Nigerian indigenous rapper Lantani Bile recently showed off his latest body art and honors an African leader. Wait, so, Buhari knows about that place where that person there, so, wait till you think about this thing. Make you let me know for comment section below. In his latest Instagram post, the rapper flaunted the chest tattoo of Ghana's former president, Kwame Nkrumah. In December 2020, Zlantan revealed he once worked as a bricklayer back in the days. The Nigerian music star Omoniyi Temidayo Rafael, better known by his stage name Zlantan Ebile, recently debuted his new tattoo and interestingly, it is a portrait of a former African leader. In a recent Instagram post, the Lagos Anthem rapper shared a photo of himself, bare-chested, and spotted a portrait tattoo of Ghana's former president, Kwame Nkrumah. Although Zlantan didn't mention his motive behind the tattoo, it is safe to say it is his own way of honoring the Ghanaian revolutionary who led his country into independence. But wait, so Buhari supposed they did, I wait till I see the talk, oh. but let me hear your thoughts in the comment section below. An influential advocate of Pan-Africanism, Nkrumah was a founding member of the Organization of African Unity and winner of the Lenin Peace Prize from the Soviet Union in 1962. Meanwhile, in December 2020, Zlantan shared his journey to becoming one of the popular singers in Nigeria. Well, what do you think about this? I think he's supposed to tattoo Mr. President Buhari in his chest, or in his chest rather. So let us know what you think about this in the comment section below. And don't forget to like our videos. Don't forget to subscribe. And stay tuned for more exciting videos. For the meantime, stay well and take care of yourself out there. Peace.